Hey guys, welcome back to another Encursus tutorial. Today's tutorial isn't necessarily part of one of my series, it's just a kind of like an other tutorial. Um, someone had asked me how to print centered text, so print text in the center of the screen. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Today's going to be the first part um, where we just do a very simple case, and then uh, in part two we'll, we'll go into cases where you have more than one line instead of just one line, um, which is more complicated actually much more complicated but if you guys haven't already uh please uh if you like these videos consider subscribing and turning on all notifications it really helps out the channel and keeps me motivated to make these tutorials also if if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up and uh, comment below i respond to all comments and and uh questions so feel free to do that and uh, let's just get started here so you'll see just to start out i've created a, a very basic just a shell program to save th some time um, you'll be including string. I personally prefer using string because there's a lot of good convenience functions. If you don't like using strings, you could do this with uh, C style strings, but that's just not how I prefer to do it. So uh, we'll be including string up here. Um, and then I've also just created a uh, forward declaration of a function called print centered that we're going to be uh, creating and the definitions down here. Then we just have a very basic um, set up for starting end curses and ending end curses. Um, and I have a make file here. If you want, you can pause and recreate that. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So the majority of this tutorial, we're just going to be filling in this print centered function down here. So uh, the way you go about printing centered um, is actually primarily a math thing. It's not really an end curses thing. Um, so the, the way you work out the math for printing something centered is first you have to figure out the actual uh, length of the screen or length of whatever you're trying to print in. So in this case, it's our it's a window here. So I guess I should first explain the arguments here. So uh, our function is going to take a window. Uh, that's where we're going to print in. Um, if it's the standard screen, that's fine. But um, if we want to print in another window, it's important to pass this, uh, have a window passed as part of the function. Then we're going to have uh, a starting row so that uh, basically be okay within this window where do you want to start um, if there's multiple lines uh, it'll go over multiple lines so that's why i call it start row and then we also have to take the string that we're trying to print obviously um, and i just call it text so um, in order to print in the center uh, there's kind of two things you need to do first you need to find out um, the center of wherever you're printing. So the center of, in this case, would be uh, the center of the window. So uh, what we're going to do to find the center of the window is we will create a little variable called um, uh, center call and uh, for center column. And what that's going to be equal to is equal to the window um, underscore max x. So for those of you who aren't familiar, this is another way of getting the the basically the width of a window. Um, there's other ways to do it, like get, get max y, x. That's another function. But because we're only getting the x and not the y, we don't need to use get max y, x. We just need the max x. So, so you, in order to get half of, or in order to find the center of the window, you take the maximum width and then you divide it by two. That would give you the middle. So that's our center call. Then we also need to get um, the half of the length of the string. And I'll explain why in a second. But so... We want to get half the length of the string, so I'll just create another function called half length, and that'll be equal to text.length divided by two, like that. So the reason why we need to figure out um, half the length of the string is because if you think about it, so say we have a window that's, so say this is our window right here that we're trying to print in. So if the center, I mean, obviously this is a ballpark. If the center is like right here or something, it might be like there. So if this is the center and we want to print to the center, we can't start here. Because if we start in the center, it's going to be off center. It'll be like that. Say our string's that long, it'll be off center. So how do you fix that? Well, the way you fix that is you take half of the string right here. For for instance, I don't know if that's exactly the center, but you take half the string and you subtract it from this position here. So by taking our half of our length, we can subtract it from half of our call or center. And that'll put our string as close to center as possible. Technically speaking, if you have an even number of characters, it'll be off by one because that's just how math works. You can't necessarily, you can't center something if it has an even number and there's an odd number of columns um, and vi you know, vice versa. If there's an even number of columns and an odd number of characters, you can't technically center it, but you'll get as close as you possibly can get to centered. 
So now that we have those two variables, we can figure out what our adjusted column will be. So I'll, I'll call it adjusted column. And that's going to be equal to the center column minus our um, half length like that. So with all that, pretty simple so far. Um, pretty much all we have to do is print out the string now. So we'll do a move print w and uh, the window is whatever window we got passed in. So when um, and then our row is our start row because um, we're assuming we only have one row right now um, for this part one. Part two will go into multiple rows where it's much more complex actually the math to figure it out. But so start row um, and then we need to give it a column. So in this case the column is the adjusted column. So adjusted call and then we need the actual string. So because we used a C string or sorry because we used a string and not a C style string with which is a an array of chars. Um, we have to do text.c underscore string like that. And that just converts our string into a, a C string. Um, all right. Uh, with all that, I think we, unless I'm missing something, which we'll find out in a second, uh, I think we can just go back up to our main function and go to print, uh, type in print centered. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use the standard screen. Um, and then we got to pass it the start row. I'll just do, um, I don't know, 20. Or out of 10, we'll do 10. And then whatever string we're going to use. So I'll just do hello world because not very creative at all. Uh, and because we have a git char down here, that'll do a refresh for us. But I'm just going to, I'll throw a refresh in anyways because it can't hurt. And because we're using the standard screen, we can use just regular refresh without the W. Um, but all right, so now that we have done that, let us go over here, uh, make that, and run it. So as you can see, that's, uh, I would say that's centered in the middle of the screen. It's kind of hard to tell, but I would say that's pretty centered. Um, and just to drive the point home, let's um, just put some more text in here. Hello world, this is a really long string to demonstrate centering. Hopefully that's not too long, because if it's longer than the line, we'll run into issues, but um, that's what part two will be about. All right, so yeah, as you can see, that's definitely, I would say that's centered. Mathematically, it should be centered just because the code I write should print a centered string. But, um, so that's what happens if we only have one line. But, so let's see what happens if the length of the string is longer than the length of the window. So, um, to demonstrate centering. But what if it is too, I'm just gonna put a bunch of zeros to make sure it's definitely too long. But what if it's too long, like that? Um, and if we run the code again, oh, nothing shows up. And that's because we've actually gone over the edge of the screen um, and end cursor doesn't know what to do and it flips out. But that's what we're gonna cover in the next tutorial. Um, we're gonna cover how to basically split it up into multiple lines and print it out uh, correctly. Um, still, you might run into issues if there's too many lines to fit on the screen still. But I mean, at some point there's an error no matter what, like you can't avoid all errors. It's just impossible. Um, but so that's going to be from the next tutorial. If you guys like this one and are looking forward to that next tutorial, again, consider subscribing, turning on all notifications, give it a thumbs up if you like this. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.